zombie apocalypse. Welcome to the audio tool training. I would like you to please launch audio tool. And when it does, I would like to click you to click empty and start from scratch. You can choose to watch the tour at your leisure. It does have a ton of cool stuff, but I'm just going to tell you no, and I'm going to teach you how to make a sound or a song really quick. I will warn you that I do not have any musical skills. I just like to play. If you do have musical school skills, you should be able to make something much more epic than what I do. I also want to request that you keep your volumes at a level which you're, where you're not disturbing your neighbors. And let's see how much fun we can have with this. So the first thing I want you to do is switch over here to the loops. Loops are cool little clips that uh, play different songs and such. Pick any one of these first four, and you can test it by coming down and just hitting play, and it'll play the loop. Switch and try another one, and find one that you think is kind of cool. Since this is just our first test, you don't have to worry about it being professional. Just pick one that you think is cool. When you have one you like, just drop it on the toolbar. Because we've got the auto connect button, it actually drops right into our loop. And now when we hit play over on this side, we've got the start of our song. This is the play button. I want to make that so it plays four beats. So I'm going to stretch it all the way out like that. And you can see it still plays the whole thing. It just goes a little longer. To stop it, I simply hit stop, and then I want you to scroll down and find anything that you think is cool. I'm going to just find a synth loop. When I double click it, after a second, it'll start playing, and I can test it and see if I like it. I don't like that, so I'm going to find a different one. And when you find one you like, just drag it out on the tray. It auto-connects. And it puts it in down below your other mix. And then when you hit play, you can. I want to show you this little tool that lets you slide along and view your timeline as you're building. I'm going to find another chunk of drums that I think is cool. And I'm going to add that in. Same way, I drop it out in. And it automatically adds it. But I'm going to slide back to the left so I can view this. I want this to start a little bit later, so I'm dragging it along my timeline so that it just jumps in later as the song is being built. Alright, so your project is going to be to come down this list and find at least six pieces that you like and make your uh, song last at least eight beats. You can see that I stopped at four beats or five beats. I want you to make yours last eight beats. When you go down the list, I do want you to know that once you get past these one of those numbers, those are things that uh, people can make out on the internet. Uh, so there are some that are inappropriate. Make sure you stay away from those. There's a ton of tools that I haven't shown you, but I just want you to create an awesome song at this time. You can see how you can zoom out. You can left click, drag so you can see the other half. If I wanted the acoustic wave, um, if I like it, I can pause it and I can put it on the other side so you can spread your stuff out. You can put them down below. But that's how you add them. If you wanted your volume to be lower on one of these, you can slide the volume down. You can change the effects. There's a ton of things you can do with this. Today we are just trying to make our first awesome song. So I hope you when you're happy with your song, make sure that you click on the login button and choose login with your Google account. When it pops up, tell it allow. When it picks up a hot, uh, username, make sure you pick one smart. If you want to subscribe to the letter, you may. Not sure I could really use the periods, but I finally found one that worked and hit create account. And I finally found one called Kid Harmon, and I was able to hit OK. So when you've got that done, 
you'll be able to see the latest songs created by people. Click the little X to get rid of that window. So I backed all the way out to my screen and I went back to the login button and now I am logged in as me. I'm going to click on the word untitled and I'm going to change it to something else. I'm going to call mine Mod Tech Jam 1 and I'm going to put in this as my first test song and just tell it OK. At this point we need to click file and we need to save a draft. It's all cool because we already typed in those words. If you want to add a cover image, you may. Uh, if you want to add tags, like if your song was cool enough, you may. Mine is not cool enough for those things. So my draft has been created. And it's private until I publish it. I tell you that because now you could hit File Publish and everybody can see it. But I don't think mine is good enough to publish, so I'm not going to. So you have created your own song and you also have the ability to save those songs. And if you sign in with your Chromebook, you will have that same app that you can get to on the audio tool and you can continue this project on your own time. So congratulations, you are now a music creator. Creator. Unicorn Zombie Apocalypse.